my brothers and sisters. The message concerning Babel, which Yeshayahu's son of Amos saw. Lift up a banner on the high mountain. Raise your voice to them. Wave your hand. Let them enter the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my set apart ones. I have also called my mighty men for my displeasure my proudly exalting ones. The noise of an uproar in the mountains like that of many people. A noise of uproar of the reigns of nations gathered together. Yahuwah of hosts is gathering an army for battle. They are coming from a distant land, from the end of the heavens. Even Yahuwah and his weapons of displeasure to destroy all the earth. How for the day of Yahuwah is near. It comes as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore, all hands go limp, every man's heart melts, and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows take hold of them. They are in pain as a woman in labor. They are amazed at one another their faces aflame. See, the day of Yahuwah is coming, fierce with wrath and heat of displeasure, to lay the earth waste and destroy its sinners from it. For the stars of the heavens and their constellations do not give off their light. The sun shall be dark at its rising and the moon not send out its light and I shall punish the world for its evil and the wrong for their crookedness and shall put an end to the arrogance of the proud and lay low the pride of the ruthless. I shall make mortal man scarcer than fine gold and mankind scarcer than the gold of Ophir. So I shall make the heavens tremble and the earth shall shake from her place in the wrath of Yahuwah of hosts, and in the day of the heat of his displeasure. And it shall be as the hunted gazelle, and as a sheep that no man takes up, every man turns to his own people, and everyone flees to his own land. Whoever is found and thrust through, whoever is found is thrust through, and everyone taken falls by the sword, and their children are dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses plundered, and their wives ravished. See, I am stirring up the Medes against them, who do not regard silver, and as for gold, they do not delight in it. And bows dash the young to pieces, and they have no compassion on the fruit of the womb. Their eye spares no children. And Babel, the splendor of rains, the comeliness of the pride of the casting, shall be as when Allahim overthrew Sedum and Amara. She shall never be inhabited, nor be settled from generation to generation. Nor shall the Arabian pitch tents there nor shepherds rest their flocks there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be filled with owls, and ostriches shall dwell there, and wild goats frolic there, and hyenas shall cry in their citadels, and jackals in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come, and her days are not drawn out. Shalom.